Hello everybody, Michael O'Grady here and uh, we're about halfway through now. This is uh, part seven and we're looking at uh, menu having just left the header section. Uh, I'm just going to change a few things here now uh, before we go to menu. Just going to turn the uh, flash off. That's quite um, an annoying little animation. And it'll turn off in a moment. Chug, chug, chug. Okay. So let's have a look at the menu. <coughs> now the menu is this item here. Okay, if we click in here, it's the whole of this menu item. So this background, this rectangle, is the menu bar, which is here. These individual buttons here, these three, are the menu items, which are here. And this middle one opens up with some sub-items here, and some more sub-items. All these are in the sub-item menu here. Okay, So this is the main bar, the buttons or tabs, and then the rollover. Uh, menus that pop out of it. But the left hand half is very much about uh, global um, styling. So we've seen this before in the header menu. Do we want no menu before the header or after the header? So we'll keep it where it is. Uh, we'll come down to here and have a look at whether we've got buttons, uh, just text with pipes, um, tabs, a whole range of things, whether our um, passive areas, uh, passive text are within the button tab area or not. Uh, so we'll just click on uh, one of these. Let's go for this one. Okay. Um, okay, so this is left justified and a circle uh, radius corner top left. Okay, so let's have a look at styling. Um, again, from here we've got a little drop down for the styling and colouring and then for each individual item. So just let's have a look at what we've got here. Uh, the shape. Um, do we want the shouldered, round shouldered tabs, um, slightly greater corners or a trapezoidal um, sec uh, one there. Let's go for uh, this one here. Um, and then have a look at colouring. Okay, so this is looking at the passive being in its own tab. Uh, let's have a look at what that looks like. Okay, and let's look at a few more. Let's look at this. Uh, one of the things that we'll be colouring up is this uh, line here, this blue line that uh, links up here, so it looks like we've got a tab at the front and other tabs behind. So that's um, well, that's quite nice. We'll leave that as it is. Okay, <coughs> so we've got some global uh, styling there, and these next three are when we want to change uh, infines infines infinitesimal <laughs> aspects. So let's have a look at the uh, the menu bar itself. So this is the rectangle of the menu bar. And we can put a, a texture on there. Okay, we can put a, a pattern. Let's just have a look at this. Okay, so it's a grid pattern, quite um, repetitive to the eye perhaps. Uh, let's have a look down here. Uh, let's have a look at this stripy one, a little more contemporary. Okay, that's quite nice. Um, let's just have a look at what else we had down there. There's quite a few, quite a few. More than you can shake a stick at. In fact, I'm wondering why I would want all these, any of these patterns on such a thin menu bar. But, of course, variety is the spice of life, as I say. So, we've got a gradient on here. Let's just have a look at what we have. It's the light at the top, darker at the bottom. Uh, we can change that around. 
like so. Um, alternatively, we could do a even darker um, or a simple glare like the gel buttons that Apple have been using of late. Okay, uh, let's just uh, Control Z, go back one, leave it at that. Um, let's have a look at the fill. Uh, more colours, transparency. So we can apply uh, colours over the top with some transparency. Okay, that looks like it's um, covering over the, the brown underneath. Uh, let's have a look at border. Um, okay, so border is this line here. And if we go to uh, more borders, we make this particularly large border width. Let's put that off oh, 5 as the maximum. We can see that five, uh, that's that border there. Um, so that is look at border, contrast. Okay, so more menu options. <coughs> menu bar texture, um, we can flip, rotate, uh, blend mode, normal, soft light, etc. Transparency, colour. So there's, oh, so once we start turning this to normal, we can start to see some of the brown underneath the blue. Um, okay, so you can play at that probably for quite a few hours to get something absolutely bang on perfect. And now we're coming to the item and sub-item, uh, which we haven't looked at yet. Okay, so that is the, uh, the menu bar. These individual menu tabs, buttons, text, or whatever we want to end up with uh, come from here in the item menu. So let's have a look at what we've got. So uh, this is the uh, width going across and the style coming down, whether they're um, tall, shallow, or wide. Let's just go for that one, quite wide. Okay. Anything else there? That's that size. Um, with radius, percentage of height, let's have a look at uh, 10%, a little more subtle. Texture, we haven't looked at texture yet on the menu items themselves. So what we could do is put a diagonal um, at a reverse angle. We just pass that. Um, let's look at something like this. Okay, so these now have the uh, the reverse um, and gradient. Let's have a look at dark in the bottom. Okay, so we can. Well, that's not a good one because um, the line here, the rollover, is. Uh, we've got this vertical line between the two, so I think we should go back there and change that. Let's go to something like that. And it sorts itself out. Where am I? Here. doesn't seem to want to go, have I done that wrong? Let's have a look. So that was a contrast one. Doesn't seem to want to go. We might have to come back to that one. Uh, so, item, let's have a look at the fill. What does the fill look like when it's passive, when it's active, when it's hovered? So we can change all of these. Um, what does the border look like when it's passive or hovered? Okay, this is the border colour. And again, we can change these. And the text inside, 
what does it look like, what colour, when we're hovering, etc. Uh, it looks like we've got the same font family for all the rollover versions, which we would expect. Size, let's make those a little larger, 14. Anything else? Style and the, our usual font options, which are familiar to uh, most Windows users. Okay, the sub items here come from this last section, so let's just have a look at that. No sub items or multiple level. Okay, so we would choose uh, multiple levels since we've got some. Um, in terms of size, what sort of size do we want? Let's make them a little deeper. And gradient, are they going to have a gradient? Let's have a classic gradient, darker at the bottom. There, they're darker at the bottom now. And again, with the uh, fill, the passive and the hovered, uh, border and text. Let's just have a look at this um, general table here. So we've got our item item textures and sub items where we can look at the um, border width, gradient contrast. Okay, there's a few in here that um, are specific to this area that we perhaps can't get here. So that's quite a detailed section on our menu items. Um, this this doesn't want to seem to change. That was our gradient. So it's gone back to that. Let's just choose this. See if it goes back. Oh, that's better. Okay, so there's still a, a line, but it's uh, it's looking a little better. Okay, so that's now our menu section covered, um, and join us for uh, the next part, articles, when we'll be looking at um, the articles down here. Uh, the content, the body text, the headers, quotes, tables, lists, pictures, etc. Okay, thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next one.